The summer heat had been taking its toll on everyone. C's engine started knocking early in the season, and she had to be sent away for repairs. Still, work on the farm had to continue, and Jim had brought in another tractor on loan to do C's work till she returned. C, however, was starting to grow bored and was anxious to get back to work again. Dave, when can I go home? We're still waiting on your parts, girl. Hopefully they'll be here this afternoon. With Mr. All's house away on vacation, Dave had offered to help with the repairs in an effort to get C up and running again sooner. Although it meant he'd be working without pay, he didn't mind that as much as he wished he was working with someone other than Rod. Keep going. Bring him back more. Little more. Little more. Right there. <sighs> Rod, what hunk of junk are you dragging in here this time? What? It's not mine. Oh, yeah? Well, whose is it, then? Some guy down in West Virginia sent him up this way. Wants to have him restored. Mr. All's house said he wanted me to do the job. Well, just make sure he doesn't end up like that muscle car restoration you did last year. I swear, it wasn't my fault. Some old lady in a Packard ran me off the road. <laughs> eh, you worry too much, Dave. Besides, this here is a 1971 International 756. One of the last ones to be manufactured in the United States. Really? I had one of these back when I was still living down in Texas. It was the first tractor I ever learned to drive when I was a kid. And I still remember the day Dad brought it home. Had her for a good many years till the family sold the ranch. I sure miss that old tractor. Tell you what, Dave. You help me with the teardown and restoration of this tractor, and you can be the first one to take it for a joyride once it's up and running. Well, I guess I could lend you a hand. But before I do anything, I need a drink before I keel over. Come on out to the truck. I think we've earned a couple cold beers. I could go for a few beers. You will have one beer and no more. I don't need you becoming the same nut job you were back when you were still living in England. Dave and Rod went outside to get a couple beers from the cooler, and C decided to strike up a conversation with the new arrival. <laughs> Rod's a few wrenches short of a toll chest, isn't he? You can say that again. So what's your name? I'm Clint. Who are you? I'm C. You must have been working hard for years to look like that. Doesn't your owner ever take care of you? Actually, I've been sitting in a junkyard for the last 26 years. I haven't even had an owner until just recently. What? Yeah. My last owner sold me after I became old and outdated. I haven't even worked on a farm since 89. How did that happen? Well, it's kind of a long story. Can you tell it to me? I guess I could. It all started back in the spring of 1972. I had just been purchased by a local farmer, and I was eager to get working. I spent days doing everything from plowing to planting, cutting and baling hay, and even helped out during harvest. There was another tractor on the farm too. His name was Alan. I spent years working alongside him, and the two of us got along great together. Then, one day, a new tractor came to the farm. He was bigger than the two of us combined, and right away, our owner decided he would be the one to handle most of the work from now on. After that, Alan spent most of his time in the shed, and one day, our owner decided he had to go. 
I watched as he was loaded onto a truck and taken away. I don't know what ever happened to him, but I can only hope he had a better future than mine. Why did your owner get rid of him? He decided Alan was too old to work on the farm anymore. You see, at that time, my owner was more focused on the newer machines and wanted the farm to expand with bigger and better equipment. But he kept you, didn't he? Well, I was the next on the list to go, but I didn't know it at the time. After the purchase of another new tractor, my owner decided to keep me, but only to run the manure spreader. I spent most of my days outside in the rain and the snow, but that only lasted a couple years. After the cows were sold, I was left to sit alongside the shed while the newer tractors were kept inside. For months, I watched the farm around me change as older equipment began to disappear and the newer machines started to take over. One morning, a truck backed up to where I was sitting, and I was pushed up on and taken away. I found myself back at the dealership where I came from. Only this time, I was pushed to the back of the parts yard amongst the other tractors that didn't run anymore. I wasn't seen as a tractor worth selling, but more as a source for spare parts. Well, that's a darn shame. What kind of fool would take a perfectly good tractor and let it go for parts? Wait, when did you get here? Well, I came back in and heard Clint telling a story. Figured I'd have a seat and listen. But where's Rod? Eh, he went across the road to the neighbors. He'll be back in a bit. Now, Clint, what happened after you were pushed back to the parts yard? I stayed there for years. That's what happened. Occasionally, someone would come back and take parts off me. But the other tractors out front weren't so fortunate. Every fall I could hear the ones that had been picked over yelling frantically as their remains were cut up for scrap steel. Because of all the brush that had grown up around me, I wasn't able to be seen, or so I thought. Then one day, an older gentleman came to the dealership. He was looking for rims, but when he came across me, he asked what kind of a deal they'd give him for a whole tractor. I wasn't sure what my fate was going to be after I was loaded and taken away, but I was relieved when my new owner told me I was being sent to Pennsylvania to be restored. And so, here I am. I may not be much to look at, but at least I can say I survived a terrible past. You're certainly a lucky tractor, Clint. Once Rod and I get done restoring you, I guarantee that you'll be around for another 45 years. I sure hope so. Say, where is Rod anyways? Hey Dave, parts truck's here! 
Well, guess I better go give him a hand. <laughs> Just be careful he doesn't drop something on you. After years of neglect, Clint was glad that he would finally be restored and able to run again. With Dave's help, Rod could get the restoration done faster, and Clint could be on his way back to West Virginia by the end of the month. In another couple days, Z would also be back home again, and Rod would finally have room in the shop for his next project.